Hello, I'm Malcolm Cox, and this is another Tuesday teaching tip brought to you from sunny Croxley Green, as usual. Now today we're going to visit something, or revisit something we've looked at before, which is the issue of learning styles, and in particular the visual learning style. How this, how the way we teach can help people who have that particular style of learning, that preference you might say, is this came back to my mind because of something uh, that happened yesterday. I was teaching on Luke 13, and Jesus saying that there is a door to enter, but the time to enter it is is limited so make every effort to enter through the narrow door and as part of the illustration and you can check out the sermon on my youtube channel if you like i left the podium the lectern where i was and i went to the door to the room and held the door open i walked over there it was a, a few feet a few yards away a few meters away held the door open and spoke to the congregation with my my foot in the door my hand on the door um, illustrating Jesus holding the door open saying come on let's go into the great feast with Abraham and all the prophets come with me it's going to be wonderful and we talked about that without going into all the detail of the illustration with me holding that door open and I went back to the lectern and continued the point made the point from that point point. and one of the women came up to me afterwards and said that that particularly helped her she was able to get her mind into the story and into what Jesus was actually saying she could picture that and as she pictured it she could see me doing that and she could picture more of what Jesus was talking about and it helped the point to to come home to her and I think that's one of the reasons why doing these visual things moving ourselves or putting things on a screen uh, powerpoints whatever you use can be so helpful for people who who need that it helps them to get inside the text we should not uh, think that that's not important that maybe that's not your preferred learning style perhaps you in your teaching or when you hear people teach you prefer just to listen or you prefer the kinetic doing things i was doing something kinetic in my teaching but it was a visual effect for the person who was watching it so is there something in your next text your next lesson is there something you could do to illustrate a point through visuals have a look in the passage for action for movement I could see that in this passage because Jesus talks about there being an open door and he talks about making every effort. There's action involved there. This coming Sunday, I'm preaching on the parable of the wedding banquet from Matthew 22. So I'm looking there at people coming into the banquet, the servants going out into the street corners to find people to bring them in. There are actions there. Are, are there some actions I could do? Or are there some things I could put on screen that would help to illustrate that for the visual learner? So what do you think? Are you someone who has a visual learning preference style what helps you uh, what do you find useful that preachers and teachers do and what do you find distracting or unhelpful oh there's some tips with the way that we do these visual things that can make a difference for people some do's and don'ts what do you think you can email me mccx at mac.com or you can leave a message anywhere you hear or see this recording so until the next time i hope you have a wonderful day god bless Thank you.